Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Wendy. I make videos about tech, living in SF, adulting things. So if you're interested in that, subscribe down below. But this vlog's gonna be a little bit different. I don't think I've posted anything quite like this on my channel before. This is gonna be very real, very raw because I'm getting my wisdom teeth taken out tomorrow and I'm getting all four taken out three of which are heavily impacted. I have been dreading this day. I am somebody who gets a lot of anxiety around anything that's related to a medical procedure, but in particular related to like needles and shots. And because I am getting all four taken out, I am getting sedated. So I will be having anesthesia that will be admitted to me through an IV. So I'm terrified about getting an IV in my arm and I know that might not seem bad to a lot of you guys out there but anxiety does not have logic so one of my co-workers is actually going to come with me and she's going to take care of me after the surgery as well which is so sweet I'm so grateful I have co-workers who would do that you know my wisdom teeth have bothered me on and off recently they actually had not been bothered me whatsoever and then uh last week one of my wisdom teeth really really started hurting so i saw an oral surgeon a couple days later and had a consultation and there was like no discussion like obviously i needed to get my wisdom teeth out the cost was going to be two thousand dollars out of pocket so that's with an in-network surgeon and i have pretty good health insurance which is insane i ended up deciding to forego the bone graft which is filling in the bone on both sides i just talked to a lot of people who got their teeth out and no one had really gotten bone graft so i am risking something here basically they just don't know if the bone's gonna grow back my wisdom teeth cause some bone loss but getting the bone graft will help promote the growth i'm paying around 970 i believe out of pocket which is still a lot but way better than 2000. My surgery is at 9 a.m. tomorrow and you're not allowed to eat eight hours before the surgery. So that's obviously very easy. My surgery is on a Monday, so I'm obviously taking Monday off. And then I also took Tuesday and Wednesday off. The surgeon said I will probably be good by Thursday, so I didn't take Thursday off. So I don't know when the next time I'll be to check in is. Might well be right after my surgery. Um, I just really, I don't want to do this, but it has to be done. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Hi. So what just happened? Okay, so honestly, all I remember, I freaked out by the ID. I cried, whatever. I just remember that they're all over me, like, setting my heart monitor and stuff. And I just pass out. I just did <laughs> pass out. And the first thing I do when I wake up is, like, I tell the, the helper, the nurse, I was like, I need content. I was like, I need to film some content. Yeah, that's what he told me. He <laughs> introduced himself and he said, she wants content for her blog. I know. And then he was like, oh, your friend. I was like, yeah, she's so cool. <laughs> and he was like, is she? I was like, she's so cool. I kept saying to him, I was like, I promise I'm way more fun outside of it. Don't worry. I, I don't think the nurses care if you're fun. I know. They're just doing their job. I know. How, but... do, how does your mouth feel? This one kind of hurts, honestly. Okay. But I think this is the worst one. But this one feels fine. Was I being weird? Mm, I don't know <laughs> weird. I'd say normal. You did really well, so we're all proud of you. Thank you. Before I passed out, did I say, did I reveal any secrets? You did. <gasps> Just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I only brought one coat wicker. Why my hair like this? <laughs> you get out of your face, Wendy. Is this like normal swelling level? Yeah, yeah the, it's not gonna swell today. It'll swell like on the second, third day. Lovely. We're waiting for the medication right now. I'm so home. I already changed my gauze a couple times. I was getting kind of bloody. But I'm back home and I honestly feel totally fine. I don't feel groggy at all. I feel pretty awake. Like I could probably go work right now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Only thing is obviously I have gauze in my mouth, so it's really hard to talk and it's kind of gross. I'm just gonna make a smoothie before I take my pain meds because it's better just to not eat them on an empty stomach. I just made a green smoothie. There's bananas, apples, and just water in here and some spinach, spinach. They recommend just drinking or eating cold lukewarm. Uh, non-solid food. So we're gonna start with this. So it's 2.11. I got out of surgery around 11. So I actually took a little bit longer than anticipated. 
and now i'm just chilling in bed i just took out the gloss put more in so i could talk um and i'm taking a break from the ice pack because it was getting a little bit cold when i put a monsoon i took my pain medication around like 30 minutes ago and i do not feel like kicking in at all like i'm actually in pain now and it's not like horrendous it's probably like five out of ten um so i'm just trying to figure out what i'm gonna do in the meantime i can't go to sleep uh, they say to sit upright to stop the swelling. I also just still have, it's still kind of bleeding, so I don't want to sleep. I'm just chilling on my couch with my laptop, and I actually don't feel much pain anymore earlier. Like I mentioned, I was really starting to feel some pain, but my pain meds kicked in. My pain meds, I just need the really strong Tylenol that they give me. The bleeding has substantially stopped, so I'm going to try to just do without the gauze until I feel like I need it again. So I wanted to kind of break down what just happened. So um, they take me to the back, apply numbing cream on my arm. Now this is the reason why they told me to come 15 minutes early to make sure the numbing cream would work. I did tell them in advance I was terrified of shots and needles. So I think that's why they decided to put the numbing cream on me. And so I, I did cry. I did. I kept doing this thing where I would cry laugh to kind of let them know that I was scared. But also like, haha, you know I'm being ridiculous. And once it was in, all I remember is them putting the oxygen in my nose, having everyone around me, and then I was out. And the next thing I knew, I woke up. All my teeth were out the entire procedure was done i did not wake up during it i do not remember anything during it no pain nothing it is actually insane how that works and i highly recommend you get sedated with anesthesia if you are also somebody who gets a lot of anxiety around medical procedures because that was the easiest process ever but yeah i woke up and they took me to a room with a bed that i could lie down and whenever i felt ready i could leave they allowed my coworker to come in you saw her and chat with me i wasn't really that out of it apparently the guy before me had to actually be wheeled out because the anesthesia affected him so bad. I felt perfectly fine. I was walking around, came home, and I just made my own smoothies and everything. I was probably like the most afraid out of anyone I know for the surgery and it went absolutely fine. It is 9.30, so around 12 hours after my surgery. Day one has been great. I mean, as great as post-surgery can be. I have been keeping the ice pack headband thing that they gave to me on until the ice completely melts. For dinner, my friend, oh my gosh, she's a Swedish. She stopped by and brought me all of the post-wisdom surgery essentials. So, pre puree soups. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, in addition to this double ice pack head wrap thing, they also gave me a huge pack of gauze. I have used a lot of it already. So that's gonna be it for day one, and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, so it's around 9.30. I just kind of officially got up. I did wake up around seven to some pain. So I decided to take my pain medication, which was around six hours after I took my last dose, which is what they're telling me to do. So they said that as long as I'm avoiding the area back there, I can actually brush my teeth. So I've just been kind of brushing around, not even really close to that area, honestly, because I'm too scared. The most important thing for the first couple of days is that you can't spit, you can't swish, you can like rinse, but I'll show you the way I've been doing it. It really, it looks pretty silly. So you also, like I said, can't spit, so you kind of just have to let the water fall out of your mouth. I'm really hoping I'm doing all this right because I do not want a, a dry socket. Basically, that's when blood doesn't fill up in that space that your tooth used to be and it's just very painful so i'm just gonna be making a smoothie like i did yesterday i pre-cut and froze some fruit before my surgery because <laughs> i didn't know how functional i'd be all right so i've just been using a nutribullet i literally just eyeball it i'm gonna probably put like two pieces of this frozen banana and then i'm gonna add just a bunch of chunks of apple i'm just gonna add a bunch of spinach i feel like that's probably enough that's gonna be my breakfast for this morning i'm about to continue icing and i'm probably just gonna be here until lunchtime okay just attempted to do a line drawing 
I just got this design off of like Etsy. I think it actually turned out pretty well. The paint is not bad. It's like, I would say five out of 10. So this is the soup that we are currently heating up. It is like a cauliflower puree soup. Puree soups I think are the best for post wisdom teeth surgery because I mean, they're really, really thin and easy to eat. All right, so this is gonna be my lunch. So it is almost the end of day two. It's around a little bit after nine. Tomorrow's the last day that I officially took off. And if I'm still experiencing pain by the end of the day, I think I might take off another day. With that, that's gonna be it for day two. And I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So it is day three. And I just woke up, rinsed out my mouth. Last night I was actually experiencing quite a bit of pain. I would say the pain got up to like seven out of 10. It was like just throbbing the back of my mouth, but I took my pain meds and they always kick in, I would say like 30 minutes later, that I feel totally fine. I am going to make some oatmeal and eggs for breakfast. I slept on the couch again because they say day three is the worst for swelling and I actually don't see that. It's not that bad. I mean, it's worse than day one, but it's definitely not bad. I'm gonna ice my face again after breakfast and then we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. Day three breakfast. Hey guys, so it is almost one and I did actually put on some makeup and get dressed. It's the first time I've looked like a human since my surgery and also the first time I'm gonna be venturing out of my house. Basically after my clothing rack arrived yesterday, that just motivated me to go out and get some stuff from my room that I've been putting off. But really I just wanna get out of my house. It's around the time where I was supposed to be taking my pain meds as well. And it's the first time that I have not been counting down the minutes until my next dose. I probably could have taken the pain meds before the recommended six hours, but I've just been following doctor's orders pretty strictly because I don't know what the safe amount of ibuprofen in your system for a certain amount of hours is so i just like didn't want to overdo it so i just got home and i miraculously found the perfect hamper i've been looking for a hamper like this forever for an affordable price it was only 17.99 so for lunch i think i'm just gonna be making my classic green smoothie and some mac and cheese i know that craft mac and cheese might seem disgusting to some of you out there, but it is such a guilty pleasure of mine. I had it so many late nights in college as a special place in my heart. I'm just gonna chill until dinner. I think probably edit some more videos. I did get some editing done this morning, so I was really proud of that. Okay, so for dinner, I'm just gonna have this Campbell's veggie soup. This probably isn't the best idea just because it is kind of chunky, but I'm gonna just eat it very carefully. So hopefully it's okay. Good morning guys, so it is Thursday. I actually haven't taken any painkillers today. I am working from home as you can see. I just kind of want to give myself one more day of rest before I go out into the wild and I start talking to people. It just feels kind of like tender and I can still feel the stitches, but it doesn't hurt anymore. This morning I just ate some oatmeal. It is around lunchtime and I am going to risk it all and try to eat a little bit more solid foods. So I think I'm gonna be making this Trader Joe's sweet potato gnocchi. This is like one of my favorite things that Trader Joe's has. I think this is gonna be the last check-in before my fall appointment. And I think I'm healing really well. Pain was basically gone today. So unless anything comes up, I'll see you guys after my fall appointment. Hey guys, so I just wanna pop in here for a quick follow-up. It is now Monday, a week after my surgery. I had my follow-up appointment at 9 a.m., so like literally exactly one week after my surgery and everything looked great. No infections, no dry sockets. They basically just gave me a syringe to rinse out the holes that are in the back of my mouth. So that's something I did not know would happen or like expect is that you will have these holes in the back of your mouth for anywhere to a couple of weeks that will eventually start closing up and healing and become just normal gum after that. They basically told me now they want me to actually put the salt water or the prescribed mouthwash and put it directly in that like gap and rinse out the holes. So I pretty much am pain free this side which was the more impacted tooth is still 
I still feel some discomfort and like a little bit of pain, but I'm pretty much off my meds completely. And it was a pretty smooth recovery process, I think. I personally have just been sticking to chewier, softer foods still because I just don't want to risk getting any food back there. So I've kind of strayed away from anything crunchy, but I pretty much have gone back to my normal eating routine. I will basically, I have been just basically eating whatever i had a friends giving yesterday and like ate turkey and everything i really hope this video helped alleviate any fears out there for anyone who is scared of getting their wisdom teeth out and i really hope it was helpful to give you a glimpse of what the recovery process looks like you might have a different recovery process this is just my experience and i hope you enjoyed watching it if you haven't subscribed then please do so down below and all my socials will be in the end card as well as in the description so with that i will see you guys next time bye